Because men are not providers and protectors. Not innately. Because they only protect what they possess. Oh, I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Man, fuck all y'all niggas. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? What's up, everybody? The internet is on fire with this one right here, man. Ever since this video has been posted today, everybody from TikTok to YouTube to myself is talking about this young lady right here now let me just start by saying that i don't condone violence against women at all i feel that if there's a situation arise it is best to walk away from it now women ladies you guys do have a tendency of poking the bear okay and sometimes keep poking the bear while that bear steady walking away eventually that bear is going to attack now a brick to the face over a phone number little extreme to me i mean you brother man i understand we get in our feelings our egos get crushed all that good stuff when we get rejected but bro just take the rejection and move on but i did the round table today brought in a couple of friends and we're gonna get into this video no more wasting time let's get it hold on yo this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch and they don't give a fuck yeah, this man, this man hit me, fucking grabbed a rock, and he hit me in my fucking face, because I would have given him my number. And all y'all just fucking watch. You don't see that shit? You don't see that shit? What do y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Man, fuck all y'all niggas. Have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, "What are you gonna do?" And I told all these men like, "Yo, why is this man got a brick on my face?" And he's he's holding a brick, and all these niggas is watching, and nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face and they all just watch and they let that nigga get in the car. Now I am so sorry that that happened to this young lady right here. Getting bricked. Yeah, not not a good thing. Not a good thing. But of course, everybody is asking the question that I asked. Why break out your phone? Why you didn't call 911? What was it about the situation that had to be that important while a bit not forming on your head is to get the video to shame other men, black men in the area? Shouldn't you got on the phone and made the phone call to 911? Help! I've fallen and I can't get up. We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. I've been bricked. Send the ambulance, please. So we don't know the, the context because you know how people are. They always like to start the video after the situation. So yeah. where's the brick? Where's the man? Where? Why get on live instead of calling the police? Or or nine one one, or the ambulance to come see if you don't have a concussion. She yeah. a driver? No, no, she's. I'm not sure what she is, but uh. she's she's standing there in a in in what looks like a vacant lot or a vacant area, and I guess she just went down there where a group of men is at and just started recording and started bashing them because they didn't help. Thoughts 
on that, sir? I, I never saw the video, so this one I can't. I, I can't really have no thought. She sounded like she was high, so I don't know. I gotta see the video. That's crazy, though. How you gonna blame somebody because they didn't help you out of a situation you put yourself in? I just walk away. It's not worth it. You know, it, it's it's not worth it. Female turns you down. That's you know that's that's natural. You know, hey, there's yeah. Man, man. Part of the game. Yeah, there's plenty more in the water, bro. You know, but who's to know what will actually cause him to literally pick up a brick and, you know, throw it at this lady's face? But there's no proof of it. She don't have no evidence saying that this actually happened. True. True. So we don't have the video from start to finish. We got her version at her point in time when she decided this is what she want to show. Exactly. How can, how can we say that this actually took place? She could have hit herself with the damn brick trying to throw it at him. Now, there is another video. I'm I'm not sure. I, it hasn't popped up on my feed yet. But there is another video of a young man uh, explaining his point of view from what he's... I was one of the guys who was there that did not help her when she was getting hit with the brick. Right? I feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and say things they don't understand or they don't know. You guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend, who you guys are trying to speak up for. This is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets. She's not innocent. She was actually taunting the guy to Taunt hit her. Why would I go defend somebody that's actually looking for trouble? Facts. This woman, she is literally a troublemaker. Yes. Everybody that knows her in our community knows she's a troublemaker. I'm not going to risk my life over somebody that's actually out there looking for trouble. Never. If you go on social media, online, you're going to see some of her antic videos, taunting people, looking for a reaction. Well, she got what she's been looking for, and you guys are giving her the attention that she was actually seeking for. I don't regret not standing up for her. If you look at all the videos, I was there. I don't regret nothing whatsoever. I don't regret standing up for her. I'm not saying she deserved it. I'm not saying that any men have a right to hit a woman, especially with a brick. Nobody deserved that. True. But at the end of the day, there's more to the story. She's yep. not as innocent as she's trying to portray herself to be. Mm -hmm. She wants attention. She's an attention seeker woman. She's trying to go viral, and you guys have given her what she wanted. Yes, she get. Yes, she did get hit by a brick. Yes, I saw it. Yes, I was standing by doing nothing. And, and if he did it again? And if that shit happened again in the same circumstances, I will watch. Because she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. She was taunting the guy. She was calling him all type of names. She was degrading him to a point where he resulted in picking up a brick and hitting him. I don't condone that type of behavior. But once again, she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. Her narrative about black men not uh, not helping or coming to black females' defense. What is your thoughts about that? Is some truth to it? Is some truth to it? Sometimes black men don't protect stranger black women. Vice versa. If I see a woman beating up on a man and I don't know them, I'm not getting into that shit. Vice versa. If a man see a woman getting a brick thrown at her by a nigga he don't know, if you'll throw a brick at a bitch, what you gonna you gonna shoot me, right? Like, so it's some truth to it. Some people mind their business. But what if it was a white guy and he threw the brick and hit the black woman? Then do you think the circumstances would have been different and you think the black men would have then intervened on that. It all depends on that black man. Like it's some, um, it depends on the type of nigga. Like we're talking about real men or grown boys. You can't do certain shit in front of a grown man. You could do shit in front of grown boys. Like a cracker could get away with certain shit. Like they can, some, some of the crackers can say the N word in front of grown boys. You feel what I'm saying? But like, a grown man, you gonna mind your manners. So it, it really depends. But I seen that video you talk about when she slapped that dude. 
those were two different nights because those were two different outfits unless she went and changed the same night like but if you take a good look at those videos she had on two different black tops one was with like glitter and then one was with like beads but you gotta look at it so those weren't the same the videos that i saw it wasn't the same night that she slapped that white man but getting the brick thrown in your face it's never okay especially if you refuse the number that's some bitch ass shit in my opinion but that's just my opinion i don't i i agree i i think the i think the brick to the face is a little extreme especially for a phone number i i don't i i i can't see it bro like it ain't far fetched though. You remember what they did to that girl in New York? They jumped that girl because she wasn't giving out her number at that store. They beat her, blacked her out, and put her in the trash. But I mean, some niggas just they don't got no daddies. Like, I don't know. They ain't got. They got a whole bunch of estrogen. Ain't no testosterone. Like they ain't got it. Like some niggas can't handle rejection. Some can. Uh, but, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not putting my life on the line for someone who I don't know. So um, that's why I said, hey, I don't know what these black females think that we men go to jump up. Oh, hey, leave that girl alone. I don't know you. And that's not my, that's not my problem. I that lady just got her, got hit in the face with a brick and not one man. And I will try to make this as short as possible. My mother called me up in two, February of 2003. She said that my, my son's mother had just dropped him off over a house and she was having mimosas and I should join her. I was actually working as a mixed martial arts instructor. That is very important. Also, if I was put in the same situation, I would probably do it again, even though what happened to me was absolutely crazy. I make it to my mother's house, which is in a very, very, very affluent part of Cobb County, Georgia. She lives in a very, very wealthy neighborhood. When I get to her house, you can tell that her next door neighbors, which were new, we're having a very large domestic argument. My mother said she should, she should call the police. Her husband was away on vacation at the time. My stepfather, I mean, my stepfather was away on business. I told my mother, you should not get involved. This has nothing to do with you. You don't know what's going on. Your husband is away on business right now. You're here technically by yourself. Don't get involved. A few minutes later, the lady runs out the back door. Her boyfriend, yeah, it was her boyfriend, fiance, was hot on her trail. He grabbed her by the back of the shirt. She turns around. He delivers two professional level, like Terrence Crawford style uppercuts to this lady's face. She falls on the ground. She starts shaking. I tell my mother, take my son inside, call 911. I run out my mother's garage, down the side of the house. I scoop the lady up. I'm taking her back into my mother's house. He's coming out the front of the house. I say, hey, dude, police is coming. You should just leave. I didn't confront this man. I didn't try to get him to stay. I was not being aggressive verbally or physically towards this man. I'm actually telling him the police is on the way, Jack. You should get out of here. He walks up on me. He grabs me by my wrist. I pull away. When I pull away, she did hit her head on the side of my mother's house and the track that the garage door sits on. I dropped her because I have to defend myself from this lunatic now. We end up fighting, which ended up resulting in this man getting hurt very badly in the fight. I end up like kind of like, it was weird, but we got in a weird position and he like I got like power bombed him on his head. I gave him, it was like, it was three 12 to six elbows. I had, but it, it was bad. It did, you know, and I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I did not want any of this to happen. I'm a very peace loving person. The paramedics come. They ask who's bleeding. Of course, I'm thinking it's him. The EMTs tells me it's me. I go to the hospital. I receive, I think it was 75 stitches on the inside. And it was like 211 stitches on the outside. Um, they said I would never be able to use my left hand. That I wouldn't be able to use my thumb if I was able to use it. Because what happened was he had his car keys in his hand. And when I pulled away, his keys cut me all the way down to my carpal tunnel. I almost bled out. Like it was like slitting, you know, I don't know if I can say it on TikTok. But you know what I'm saying? Like 
almost bled out. Um, I get stitched up. I go home. I go back to my apartment. This was on a Saturday. Tuesday, I go visit my mother where I get arrested. Cobb County police pull up. They arrest me. They take me to jail. My mother had to post my bond. $500,000 bill. She had to put her, I believe they put the house up to get me out of jail. Um, I don't know by the grace of God or whatever you want to say. I had a female judge who didn't even allow it to get that far. She publicly uh, admonished, yeah, the prosecutor for even deciding to try me or take the case and the arresting officer who came to serve the warrant the day that I was arrested. That wasn't the end of it because these two people sued me in court in a civil matter. He sued me for $129,000, people. It was thrown out. She sued me for $33,000 and won. I did get the case retried and I still ended up paying this lady $5,000 for coming to her aid. She stayed with this man. I was arrested. My mother had to put her house up. I had to poke. It was this. Look, I can't tell anybody else what to do with their life. Right? These were my people. This was a lady that looked like me. This was a man that looked like me. I can't tell anybody else what to do with their life. And if I was put in the same situation, I would probably do it again, even though I have a wife and six children that need me. And where would that be? If let's, let's say I'm not so lucky next time. Where does that leave my wife and my six children? I don't know what happened with that young lady out there. I'm not going to say she was wrong for being where she was or whatever. I don't know what happened. But it's not as black and white as you think it is when it's when it when it's coming to the aid of someone else. Hey, no shades to the women now. Y'all y'all want to support each other. I get you. But they are all supporting the fact that black men ain't shit. What about that narrative, bro? That's the black men they attract. Okay, that's the men that they attract. Ain't it ain't all. They can't use the word all because I don't know these people. Do you know them? So how can it say all? That's the people that they attract. Their energy attracts that energy. Their no good pussy attracts no good men. They're they're no good habit attract no good habits. You got to remember the sister to good is good. So if you got no good pussy, guess what you're going to attract? No good men. If you keep a low, if you keep a low vibration, you're going to always attract low vibrations. You can't get the good fruit that's at the top of the tree because you only can reach what's hanging or what fell on the ground. Normally when it hits the ground, it ain't no good. So you down on the ground and everything that falls on the ground is around you and you're eating from it. How are you going to blame everybody? You say all. You can't blame all ladies. It's not right. Because there's a lot of great men there's a lot of great women. There's no such thing as a perfect person, but there's plenty of good people. There's plenty of good men. You just attracting what your vibrations is putting out. So if you're walking around here looking like whatever it is that you look like, that's what you're going to attract. You got on booty shorts and a halter top, you're going to attract people who's attracted to booty shorts and a halter top. But you can't classify all of us. It's not, that's just not right.
it's a good thing that I didn't get a chance to put this together, bro, because uh, the plot thickens, my guy. The plot thickens. What? What happened? Yes. So, of course, I'm over here at my receiver, chilling, and all of a sudden, a lot more stuff on the brick to the face woman is popping up. I told you. The internet. Wait a minute. Did you send me a link to this or something? I believe I did. So, yeah. again, we don't know what happened before she turns on the video. But consensus say that she's like a, a prankster or or some type of TikTok uh, attention seeker, I should say. All right, because, you know, a lot of people do these pranks and all this crazy stuff on TikTok for the views, for the likes, uh, yeah, for the attention, okay. for the reactions. Okay. I ran into a guy. I ran into a guy like that in a Kroger down in Kentucky one time, and I didn't know that's what it was. But somebody in there was saying, "Oh, he's on uh, social media, and he goes around doing." I mean, dude was walking around with a chainsaw in the grocery store, which turned out to be a fake chainsaw. And he's walking up to people, going, yeah, and I was getting ready to put put it on him. <laughs> That's, I didn't know. I, I keep I, I keep saying when I see stuff like that, you know, somebody gonna eventually get hurt. But actually, it actually did. Somebody actually got hurt in a situation. Have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. This same female is going around slapping Caucasian men in the face. What? Yes. So that begs the question of what really happened. What really happened? I told you that. Told yeah. you I be down it was more than what really happened. Like yeah. you say, you say that the man came up to you and said, you know, was asking you for your phone number. You refused, and he just up all of a sudden hit you in the face with a brick. I mean, that oh, does, man. I mean, you know, there are some weak-minded men out here, but a brick to the face is a little bit extreme. Yes. For not giving me your phone number. So. And where did he get the brick at in the first place? Yes. Yes. Where, where did he get the brick in the first place? So now it bids the question that was this man part of the skit? You slapped him, and he didn't. He didn't fall for the skit, and he turned around and bopped you in your face. Could exactly. be possible, right? If you saw a dude that threw the brick at her and hit her in the head, would you would it intervene? Yeah, hey, I have to. I have to be honest. I I've had a friend got shot. Jumped out the car, ran over to help a female that was getting her ass whooped by her man. And when, as he was walking up to the approaching the situation, I parked. Well, I didn't park. I just, you know, put the car in park, jumped out. And as I'm coming down, dude pulls out a gun. He starts shooting at us. From that point on, when my boy got hit, I catered to him. Dude and old girl walked off like they had never even got a, had an altercation going on. So now we got to explain to the police 
how this just happened. So now, my boy's okay now, but the whole thing is, sometimes you got to mind your business when the relationship things are going on because you don't know what is really going on. Okay? A lot of people have what they want to program to have what they call mental illness now. Now, society is so screwed up that you don't know who to, who's in need and who's not. Who's going to turn around and go back to the same person that you're trying to protect them from? You don't, you don't know when your service is actually wanted and needed. So to ask me if I would have helped the person, the, the lady that got hit with the brick, if I didn't see her get hit with the brick, how am I going to help her? Now, if I see her and another person going at it, and the end result was she got hit with a brick. I can't really say what I would do at this moment because I wasn't there. At that moment, if I was there, I can't say because depending on what the words exchange was that I heard, depending on the, the, the demeanor that I'm looking at. So I, I'm very cautious about uh, uh, helping females I'll break up two dudes from fighting before I go help a guy and a female. Because we don't know where this is going to go. We don't know how it started. Okay? It's not good that a male physically abuses a female, but now let me also double talk on that. Sometimes them bitches deserve to get slapped in the mouth because they don't know when to shut the fuck up. And everybody don't have the patience to sit there and get nagged at. Male or female. So a lot of times, like in today's society that we live in today, they bank on social media watching and they bank on that the person that they're going to bark at is going to do something so they can go viral. See, today's society wants to go viral so bad, they'll do anything. They will do anything to get that 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute of fame on a recording. And like you said, Nobody starts the video from front to back, from beginning to end. There's always the piece that they want us to see. So, like I said, if you don't want to get slapped in the mouth, lady, learn to shut it. And then they'll say, I can say what I want to say. Yeah, you can. You absolutely can. But just know, every person ain't going to be in control of that moment of listening to you talk shit to them. Me, myself, I'm not into that. That's me, myself. Back in my day, yeah, I'd have slapped with plenty of bitches, I, I honestly admit. But I've learned over the years, and I'm talking years, that that's not even good. Now, I have enough self-control, I can walk away. I, bitch, I don't need you. Or I'll give you a couple of days and we settle down and we go back to whatever the issue was and try to resolve it. That's if I'm in that type of relationship with you. Depending on how that relationship, whether it's a friendship or a, a, a sex ship, but it, whatever it was, it caused anger. So now we have to go back and try to address it. But now everybody's not like this. So me personally, I teach my daughters don't put your hands on no man that I got to kill later. So, to be honest though, Sean, I wouldn't want to go viral for getting hit in the face with a brick. So, I mean, yeah. what the fuck? I don't, we don't know until we know. I'm sure maybe somebody else captured it on film, but that ain't the way I want to go viral. Getting hit by a brick, my face all swole. I'm in the hospital crying. Nah. I mean, I looked on Shawty Instagram. 
she tried to, you know, be an Instagram baddie. She got a nice body. Don't know if it's real or fake, but she tried to, you know, do her little Instagram stuff. So I don't really know if, and you know, she kind of big on TikTok too. So I don't know if that's the way she want to go viral though. Like, you know, getting hit in the face with a brick. That's the move. That's the play. I don't know. Sean is strange. I wouldn't try to go viral off that. So, I mean, I don't. Of course, she was doing it for clout or uh, sympathy once. So she might be a narcissist. That's why I'm saying we don't know what happened, what led up to it. And it's probably way more than just a phone number. She probably cussed him out. Like, and he felt some type of way. Like, bitch, you can't talk to me like that. Oh, here's a brick. Bye. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Maybe they seen the situation. Maybe they seen you 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 slapped a black man. Now maybe you was getting away with all these white men because all these videos with the white men, they was like <laughs> and you twerking. But I, I guess the black man didn't fall for it. So you slap a black man and mess around and catch these paws. Uh, she caught a brick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she she caught a brick. I, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> she caught a brick and ended up being in the hospital. So, uh, I guess the moral of this I guess the moral of this story is don't don't Keep play. Your damn hands to yourself and don't quit playing. There you go. Hey, 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 a lot of people don't be playing when you be playing. A lot of people don't. I got home safe. Didn't even get harassed once. It was so peaceful. Like, my titties didn't even pop out not once. My ass was twerking the whole time. And I don't care what nobody says. That is moving meditation. And I definitely count that as today's meditation. Check. I was, like, right next to the stage, right next to the queen. I mean, look at this. Look at the shrinkage. You know the humidity was out there just being real disrespectful. Look at this suntan. Like, skin. Skin! <laughs> I had a time tonight. I had a time. <laughs> Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean. Sit on my pool. My love. Security, we don't feel as